Hello, my name is Fiona, and I'm a certified teacher and a Praxis coach with Study.com. If you are preparing to take the Praxis Elementary Education Test, Course 5003, then let's work through some of the types of algebraic math problems you may find on the exam. All right, the first question. Which of the following would be a solution to the equation? Now, our equation is negative 6 times, in brackets, x minus 5, close brackets, equals negative 24. Our first step is negative 6 times x is negative 6x. Negative 6 times negative 5 is plus 30, equals negative 24. Now we're going to take 30 from each side, so we get negative 6x equals negative 54. Now we're going to divide each side by negative 6, so we're going to end up with x equals 9. And there you have it. All right, our next question. What is the slope of a line that goes through the points 1 and 2 and then 10 and 5? The slope formula is m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So first, let's make sure we know x, y, x, y there, and we've got our formula here already, so we can plug those numbers in. m equals 2 minus 5 over 1 minus 10. So we end up with negative 3 over negative 9. And that is equal to 1 over 3, because negative 3 divided by negative 9 is 1 third. On to our third question. What is the value of 3p squared equals 5p cubed when p equals negative 1? All right, we're going to plug in the value of negative 1 first. So 3 and then negative 1 squared plus 5 negative 1 cubed. We're going to solve the exponents first. So negative 1 squared is 1, and negative 1 cubed is negative 1. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 5 times negative 1 is negative 5. That is equal to 3 minus 5, which is equal to negative and there you have it. And now our last question. Which of the following would be equivalent to the equation after using the distributive property? Let's start with a basic definition of the distributive property, which is multiplying the terms of an expression by the same number. So this is our equation, and we're going to work it out. So 4x plus 4 times 9 is 36 equals 5 times 8 is 40 plus 5 times x is 5x, then minus 8. Now we look at our answers and we find it right there. And there you have it. I hope I was able to answer your questions today so that you can get a better understanding of the topics you can expect to find on the test. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel so that with study.com's help, you will feel confident and prepared on exam day. Bye for now.